today we have a mic comparison worker b2 versus the bumblebee 2 now if i have done reviews on these individual mics and i compare them obviously to this one because this is the sure sm7b this is the one i use on my daily now if you're looking for um uh, turtle beach has some great stuff the neat company is doing some crazy crazy stuff with some of these mics and so i'm going to give you a quick overview so you know what the the comparison on this thing so this one is the worker b2 and this is how the mic looks like um, as you see the the plugin this is what you're going to use typically a lot of people will have like a board of some sort which will be something similar to that and they plug this guy in plug it into that and that's pretty much it with this thing, it's ideal for vocalists, streaming, guitar amps, brass, drums, and other big sounds. Uh, detailed for silky pickups vocals. Proprietary is 25mm medium di diaphragm condenser. XLR output and custom class A discretion electronics for superb audio quality. So we're going to try this one out. Now, I did do a whole 360 on the other video, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to test them out and see how they sound like. Now, this other one, this one's actually pretty nice. This is the Bumblebee 2, and here it is, a giant box right there. Um, high resolution, 24-bit, 96 hertz audio, Mac or PC. This is going to be a USB-C type, which is great. So, again, ideal for content creators, vocalists, musicians. Um, it's got an internal shock mount. There's a lot of benefits that this mic has and this one's pretty nice now the way you do connect it is you will flip it upwards like this and it goes usb uh it's just standard usb to a usb c that will be plugged in just right here like that so very very simple so let's go ahead and plug this one in and see exactly how this sounds like. So here it is, Bumblebee 2. How do I sound like? This is Rojas Tech Reviews testing out the Bumblebee 2 microphone. Does it sound pretty clear and clean? There's no setting adjustments that I've done to this microphone. This is just me talking directly into it. Love the bass. Everything is here set up pretty nicely. So I just set it up here and we are good to go. Okay, let's now connect the Worker B2 and see how that one sounds like. Now here is the Worker B2. So I just unplugged the Bumblebee 2 and now I am on the Worker B2. Is there a difference? What do you hear? How does it sound like um, if I were to talk more? Um, is it clean again? I am not changing any of the settings on this thing This is just straight out of the box and this is how the worker b2 sounds like now We're gonna go ahead and switch back over to the sure sm7b and now we are back on the sure mic um, What do you guys think is is, it, is there a big difference between those two mics? Um, I, I do like that the, the Bumblebee is just a simple USB plug and go. You don't have to worry about too much. Um, you could take that one anywhere. That's going to be a great one, especially for like laptops, um, when you're traveling and it's, it's just a really good mic just cause it's a simple plug in and go when you come with um some of these xlr cables and you have something like this then you got to worry about a couple a couple of things one something like this you're going to need like some sort of mount so that way it could hold it and then the other thing is you got to worry about this being plugged into some sort of board and i've had mixer boards i've had converters that you go from here straight to the computer um couple extra things so there's multiple ways of making this guy work i feel like the other one is a little bit more easier to use now the last thing i will say is they both do need a pop filter so every time i say the word pop you won't hear that spitting sound um between uh like you know from this mic for example on the the bumblebee i kind of heard a little bit on the worker bee i didn't hear it as much um i do feel that the worker bee though this will be really good if you got like a guitar that you're playing and you're trying to get some like acoustic sounds like with musicians and stuff this i feel would be a great mic that other one i feel it's more for like a like like 
you know, podcasting. I know people get like the Blue Yeti to to uh, record videos for YouTube. Um, that will be a really good mic for that. So that's kind of how I see the difference between those two mics. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you have to choose which one sounded better, what do you think is the best out of the two? Now, I do have... In the description below, links to this stuff. Um, if you guys are interested in this stuff, I always try to hook you guys up as much as I can. Shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. Would love to have a conversation if you guys are interested in any of these two mics. With all that being said, I hope you guys appreciated this video. As always, take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Yeah.